everybody, welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. This one, I'm going to show you how to do basic zooms in about 60 seconds. I'm going to show you the different types of zooms as well. What am I talking about? I got this guy vacuuming here. Start the timer. And presto, we just zoom in on him just like that. How did I do it? Well, let's start from scratch. Okay, there we go. I got some footage. Drag and drop it in. It'll create a sequence. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and stop it at about five seconds or six seconds. So it's a little slower, a little bit shorter. Okay, good stuff. Now, I want the zoom to start at one second right there. So this, I've got the playhead at one second, and now I'm going to go to my effect controls panel, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on the scale stopwatch, very important. And then I'm gonna drop that little triangle down as well, just so you can see what I've got going on here. And then let's say by three seconds is when I want it to be fully zoomed in. So at the three seconds, so this is a two second zoom, and of course you can go ahead and do it as you see fit. I'm just going to click the step forward so I'm on three seconds there we go and then presto I'm going to zoom it in like this and it's going to go up to about let's go to 200% so we've doubled our zoom okay here's what it looks like right now I'm just going to go back to the beginning here let's go back and hit spacebar zooms in that might be all you need just a heads up, if you want it to be a little bit more non-linear, if you want it to speed up and slow down, kind of like you've got a uh, like a ramp on it, a speed ramp, you can click on these little keyframes here under scale. You'll see that I've dropped the triangle down. Now right click on it and you'll see here that you can click on ease out. And then on this one, you can ease in. So you're easing out of the first one. I know it sounds a little backwards, but this is so it comes out. It's coming out of the first frame and it's going in to the next keyframe. And if you do that and you look at the little graph here, you'll see that the velocity goes up and then it goes down on the zoom. Both are great ways to do it. That's all you need to know, guys. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.